Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, thank you for coming back and if you are new, welcome, welcome. I love luxury handbags and if you also like luxury handbags, do consider subscribing. Today we are talking about a Gucci Soho Disco. I've had this bag for 4 years, used it a lot. But it annoys me and I want to tell you about it. But before we go into the pros and cons, let me just flip the camera around so you can have a close look at it. Before I proceed, I just wanted to remind you that there will be timestamps below so you can jump to the section that you're interested in but I do encourage you to watch the whole video so you don't miss any information. Thank you! Let's start with the dimensions first. This is 8 inches wide by 2.5 inches and the height is 6 inches. The weight of this bag is 380 grams. It is made of light grain leather. Gucci doesn't specify what kind of leather. It doesn't say calf leather or lamb leather. It just says grain leather. And it has light gold hardware. It comes also with the leather tassels. There is the embossed interlocking GG motif at the front. No back pocket as well. The strap is non-detachable, but it is adjustable. It is a camera bag style, so it has a zip closure. The interior is made of fabric. It is a cotton linen kind of fabric. There are two slip pockets, one on each side. Now let's talk about the pros. The leather is very durable because it is of a grained pebble kind of leather. It makes it more scratch resistant. If there are any scratches at all, it's quite hard to see. It is lightweight because the leather isn't too thick. It's not too flimsy as well. And this lightweight leather makes it very comfortable to carry on the shoulder. Also, because it is soft and not stiff, it allows for filling up of the bag much better. And also it's easy to get in and out of. The strap is another pro because it is adjustable. There are actually five holes for adjustment. Also, there is tes the tassel here, which adds a nice design element to the bag. It's a very good size bag for a camera bag. You can fit most of your essentials. And it's also a very good bag for traveling. If you want something more secure, it has the zip. And also, it fits your passport, your wallet, multi-currencies, and all the other essentials. It's really a very good size bag, which most to your body because it's soft. So when you carry it on the side of your body, it does not stick out. And for the cons now, because the interior is made of a fabric lining, it cannot be white. So if you so happen to have stains on it, that's the end of it. Which is why I always have my insert in the back. I'll show this to you later when we're doing the what fits inside. As for the strap, you see this part here. It tends to stick out. The excess, there isn't anything to hold down the end of the strap. I don't know why they made it this way. It is just a very simple idea to put a little loop here so you can stick your the end of your strap down there. But as it is now and for years they have made this, they have never improved on this design. It's always sticking out. The zip itself I find is a little bit hard to pull. You actually use tassels as your zipper pull and it's not very stiff. You do have to hold down the opposite end in order to close or open it. Now some people have complained about the tassels going in different directions. I'm not too bothered by it. I think it was worse when I first got it. Uh, it's probably due to packing it and transporting it back. This bag was actually bought at the airport in Heathrow. So by the time it got home, uh, it was a little bit wonky. But over time, they kind of straighten out a little bit. Still a little curved here and there, but not exactly a huge problem. Now, so you'll find that there isn't really many cons of this bag, which is why I do love this bag very much and I've been having it for four years. But the biggest problem is that, and what is annoying me, is the fact that this bag flips over when you pick it up. So let's say you're setting this bag down somewhere on the chair or the table, while you're in a restaurant or something and then you, you want to leave, you pick it up, it flips over. Let me demonstrate to you what I mean. There you go. And this happens like 50% of the time. And what will actually happen is if your bag is not zipped up, the contents 
will fall out. And if you want to avoid losing your contents, best to make sure that your bag is zipped up before you pick it up. So let's see what fits inside. I have already filled it up, so I'm going to do this in reverse order. As you can see, it's quite packed now. Just a little bit of room at the top. But for now, what I have inside is a compact wallet, my lipstick in a lipstick holder, there's a packet of tissues, there it is, a shopping bag, antibacterial wipes, my hand sanitizer. And can you believe it? I actually have my umbrella inside. Yes, it fits my umbrella nicely. In fact, it's just nice. It's not like pushing the either side, it just fits perfectly. But with the umbrella there, these are all the items that I can fit in. If I remove the umbrella, okay, with the umbrella inside, it's very hard to put in my mini pochette. I can put it in, but it sticks out like that. So, if I don't have my umbrella inside, I can then put my mini pochette. Oh, by the way, you see I've got my insert inside. Putting the insert does take up a little bit of room but I think it's absolutely necessary because of the fabric lining in the back. If there's any kind of spillage or staining, that's the end of it. So let's try the mini pochette. I can still put in my tissues and wet wipes. I don't need my other wallet. I can put my Lipstick. I can stick the hand sanitizer in one of the pockets here so that it doesn't topple. And I can put sunnies on top, otherwise I can put in my shopping bag. It fills up like that and it closes perfectly. So how is the condition of this foil bag? Let's have a quick look. First of all, the corners. No signs of wear. No scratches. I don't see any scratches. Maybe very fine hairline scratches if I really want to nitpick, but really, oh, it's like brand new. It's just like the day I got it. So what do I think about it? Well, yeah, I'm still annoyed about the bag flipping over whenever I lift it up, but I've gotten used to it. I now make sure that the bag is zipped up before I pick it up. And I think the benefits, the pros far outweigh that one problem that it has. I mean, it's held up so well. It's been used so frequently. So this bag is not going anywhere. So I called up Gucci because this bag seems to be not available under some websites and there's been rumors for years actually that this bag is going to be discontinued however over the last maybe five years despite the rumors you can still find this here and there on the singapore website itself i could not find a single piece in any of the colors they used to produce this in the three main colors which is the black the beige and the red and this was not found on the website so i called out the store to just double check maybe they have it in store and they're just not putting it up on the website and uh, the customer service told me that they really don't have any in singapore at all in not even in black or in beige and i found this available on the us website but not in the red apparently the red one has been phased out but for the black and beige one it is still available on the us website i'm not sure if it is available at the store itself what the customer service person told me was that uh, they are not released as freely as before but you know corporate it's like that sometimes they don't give advance notice they can just suddenly stop production and stop sending stocks without informing the sas but as of now what it appears to be is that they are distributing the stocks only to places where they feel that there is a demand for it. Whether it's going to be phased out suddenly, it's hard to say. If you are interested in this bag, you should probably look into it. Let me tell you about the price difference. The price did go up considerably. Unlike in the case for Chanel and LV, we always get a lot of information all over social media about price increases and sometimes advance notices as well. But in Gucci, we don't hear a lot about it. In actual fact, 
the price of this bag actually went up quite substantially. When I bought this in 2018, it was from London Heathrow Airport. It was at £670 and uh, that converted to uh, including GST, our tax, when we arrived back in Singapore, we declared it and paid tax. And that worked out to Singapore dollars 1085 which is approximately in USD is 850 It was 850 at that time, including tax. Today, if you were to look at the US website, this is going for Singapore dollars roughly 1970 In USD is 1490 That has gone up quite a bit in four years. From USD $850 to USD $1,490. If you like this bag for what it is, if you like what I told you about the pros and you don't mind the cons, if you are looking for a camera bag, I highly recommend it. It is better that you get it sooner than later if you're really interested in it because if it's going to stay around, it looks like the price will continue to go up. And it's so durable, it's going to last a very long time. It is probably the most used bag in my collection. Most used not only by me, but by my two daughters. This is the bag that they borrow most frequently, so it's really worth it. So if you are really interested in a camera bag, I say go for it before it really disappears or before the price goes up further. If you have other information about this bag from wherever you are, whichever website you're on, do comment in the comment box down below so we can help each other to make better informed decisions. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. Remember, in the comments down below, let me know if you have any questions at all and also tell me what kind of content do you like to see. So, until next time, take care. Bye!